Today we're going to tie the little olive caddis nymph. The uh, little olive caddis uh, is, is a pattern that I fish late in the year. It's a generic search pattern for any dark caddis that are coming off. Uh, it, it happens to work very well for me on the waters that I fish. And uh, hopefully it adds to your box as well. Let's go over how we tie it. I start off with a size 16 caddis emerger or a scud hook depending on what uh, how much weight you want. Uh, either one works for me. And a gold tungsten bead. And we're going to start with Olive Dunn ADOT Uni Thread. Start your thread. You're going to work it back. Give it a decent thread base. And you're going to take that wrap back into about halfway into the bend of that hook. And tie it off. And then you're going to bring your thread back up behind the bead. I don't add extra weight to this. Sometimes I, or I tend to use a lot of uh, lead wire to, to lock my bead in. For this one I don't. I start off though, next uh, material you're going to tie in is olive micro tubing. It's the micro size. And I'll seat that up under the or inside the bead a little bit. Back of the bead, lock that down. By the time I get all my material on here, that tends to lock this smaller bead down. And we're going to wrap that again back to the same point as we did our thread base, and then bring your thread back up to the bead again. Then we're going to we're going to wrap that micro tubing forward. And since you have a thread base that's uh, I'll have done as well. Uh, you're just going to put one in front of the other. Don't overthink the uh, the tubing. I keep it tense, or not tense, but taut, so that it doesn't uh, it flattens out a little bit as you wrap it. I don't overthink the uh, the spacing if I have wrapped slightly farther forward than the other. It really doesn't matter much because you do have that thread base that adds to the color. And I give three wraps in front when I'm using micro tubing and then three wraps behind it as well before I clip it off. This stuff does have a tendency to move on you. It's synthetic, you're stretching it. And next, then we're going to bring that thread back about one bead length back. The next material you're going to tie in is a natural CDC puff. I buy the puffs, you don't need the whole feather. This is just a natural color, like a dark, dark dun. And I'm going to sweep the feather forward. And I'm going to tie it in about the middle with just a couple loose wraps. And then I'm going to grab the butt end and I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull those fibers to where they're just about even with the bend of the hook. You don't want to bring it shorter than the bend of the hook. Right there. And I'm going to clip them off, clip the butt ends off. And the next material you're going to tie in is olive ice dub. And you're not going to have to use a lot of it. It's not a large pattern. This is the only size I tie this pattern in, by the way is a 16. I stock it in my box. It works every year. It is one of my go-to patterns. And you're going to wrap that ice stub 
just a little bit more. I like to keep it a little bit tight against the bead. It will pick out. Come back and blend with that, that CDC. It'll just naturally pick out. And then we're going to whip finish. Like I said, very simple pattern. Very easy pattern to replicate and keep stocked. And one of my favorite late caddis nymphs for the fall into the winter. Just does very well for me. Little olive caddis nymph. Hope it adds to your box as it has mine. Good luck. See you in the water.